Hi everyone. Nice to nice to be back. Nice to be with you again. How are you doing? God bless all of you. Very good. Okay, so I hope you are doing well and I hope your everything is okay with you and your family. Is anybody here to say I love Jesus? If you want to, if you are one of them that want to say I love Jesus, can I see your hand up? I want if I'm one of them, I say I love him. I love Jesus. You know, and you don't have choice than to love him. The only good thing that happened to man that we have that makes us to be exceptional, that differentiates us from the world of the wicked. So if you are here, I want to say I love Jesus. Just say I love tell somebody I love him. I love Jesus. Just you write it down. As you write a comment, you say I love Jesus. The first thing you will say, I love him. So you have to understand that he loves you so much. He loves you. He loves everybody. Even, even sinners, he loves sinners. He wants them to come back to him. Okay, now what I want to do tell you in this video. I want to tell you what will be happening this year, 2020. Sorry that it came late, but it's, it's, I don't believe it came late. It came at the right time. Every other mouth has spoken, but if they are not from God, those mouths that, 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 that speak, it's cut off. It's a lion tongue that is already cut off. So it, I believe that this prophecy came at the right time. At the right time, you can see that I'm I'm well I'm well loaded more. I'm, I'm well loaded. That I stay away sometimes does not mean that anything happens. Nothing happens. All is perfectly working well, wonderfully well. The Lord is doing great things in my life. In my family, in my marriage, never exercise me. In my ministry, the Lord is doing, in my business, he's doing great things. So I thank him so much for that, for his law. Nothing happens. I just stay away for some time. I just face other things, my business and other things. So I'm busy. Even I, I was in Nigeria, so I will be talking about Nigeria in my next video. But now I don't, want, I don't have time to talk about it. I will tell you what I was in Nigeria for some times and I will be giving you I'll be updating you from the, in the next video what I my experience and what I saw in Nigeria once again. I was in Nigeria twice. I was in December and I was also this January this January I visited again. Alright so I'll be talking about that one maybe in my next video how Nigeria look like. Alright alright but this video that I'm making right now is I am only what I want to tell you what the Lord said, "What is what we is what is happening? Not what we have. What is happening this year? What is happening this year? Or what is going to happen as we as as the year move on? All right. So I want to tell you that this year, as God said to me, is a great year of it's a year of great blessings. The year of great blessings to God's own children, to God's lovely children." To do, to, to, to do that love God, to do that love truth and, and love righteousness, there will be overthrow, overthrow the, the, the evil. Evil ones can, can't keep on enjoying the good things that the Lord created for his own children. The evil ones, the kingdom of darkness, have, have already lost their control over the world, over the silver, over the gold, over the diamond, that they, that they stole to a lion tongue. At least two from from man, where man sin against God. So there is what is called plundering. Heaven, heaven, heaven is going is plundering hell, plundering the kingdom of darkness, bringing the riches back into the hand of his own children. So this year is a year of great blessings of the Lord upon your life. Great blessings is this year. And I want also to tell you that this year is the year of the chief judge. Our God is the chief judge, seated in heaven, judging the lesser judges in righteousness. So this year, I want to tell you that the Lord is judging every man. It's a judgment year. God is judging every man and every woman. 
giving to everybody what you deserve, what you merit. It's not a God that will tell a wicked man you are good. No. It's not the God of Nigeria. The God that Nigerians are worshipping is a lion tongue. It's not the God of the fake pastors in America that are worshipping. Those ones are the devil, their father the devil. That's a, that is, that is a, a liar. It's not the God that the fake pastors in Europe or Asia are worshipping. That they are lying and the deceiving people. I'm talking about the God of truth, the God of righteousness, the God that sees that sees white and call it white, and see black and call it black. The God that sees a righteous man and 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 exalt him and praise him, and the God that sees the wicked and bring them down. This is the God I'm talking about. I'm not talking about a God that a God a, 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 a impartial God, a God of partiality. No. There is no partiality without God when it comes to judgment. When it comes to judgment, there is no partiality in my God, the God of heaven, the, the, the holy God, the righteous God that I know. There is nothing like impartiality in him. So the chief judge is seated already in heaven, in the courtroom of heaven, judging the lesser judges in righteousness. So this is what I want you to understand this year. That the chief judge is 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 only judging the whole universe. Better whether great, whether small, whether rich, whether poor, whether white, whether black, whether tall, whether beautiful, whether whether ugly, everybody, every man, both great and small, everybody. We receive everybody will receive his or her due this year. Alright, so it's a year of great blessing as I said to you. So as I move on now, I will be reading something to you in the book of Isaiah chapter 50. Isaiah chapter 54, so that you can understand clearly what God is saying this year. So, and I will also like if you listen to this video. You can also follow me on Instagram, Facebook. You can scroll down and you can see my Facebook, my Facebook account. You can also see my Instagram. You can also follow me if you want to see no more about me. You can check me on Facebook or Instagram. If I scroll down a bit, you will see where I put the account, account uh, my Facebook and, and the Instagram. Okay, all right, so if you love Jesus, if you love truth, if you love righteousness, I can tell you this is your time. This is your time. You must increase in your prayer, your prayer life. You must increase, come close to God the more. Come, let us all come, to, come close to God the more. He, he is doing it already. All right, so. I want to read in the book of Isaiah chapter 54 to confirm the prophecy of the year. What God said that this year is carrying. This year we deliver. This year is already delivering what the Lord said. Okay, I am reading from verse 1, Isaiah chapter 54 from verse 1. I read, Sing, O barren. Who is the barren? You true believer, you true child of God, that the enemy, anywhere you follow the they, they pull you up, anything you put your hand, anything you, you're trying to do, they are blocking you, they milk everything through their lion tongues, through their fake churches, through their, their, their evil means, they, 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 they suck all the, the, the things that is meant for you, and you left empty-handed, you left, you, you always you, you, you crying to eat no food, nothing to put on, nothing to, 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 to put your head, nothing. You are struggling, struggling to enjoy life, enjoy the good thing that your father prepared for you, created for me and you. So God said to you, listen, God speaks in this place and listen now as I read. You are, you are, bar you are, barren, you are barren years, the years of barrenness is over. Barrenness means a life of lack, life of not being fruitful, it is over now. I'm talking to you as a, a child of God, a true believer, not you that hates truth. Not you, not you that, that, that hate righteousness, not you that hate this channel. Because if you are here, you must love truth. I am not speaking any other thing here than truth. So if you are part of this channel and you love truth, you love righteousness, get ready for good things to happen to you. If you are the enemy of God, nothing for you anymore, nothing. There is nothing for you, you fake pastor, fake preachers, fake believer, fake child of God. You know that you are fake. All of you that 
book that, 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 that is lying with the Bible, killing with the Bible, stealing with the Bible, committing all manner of abominable because of money, and declare that you love God, but you hate Him. Nothing for you or nothing this year and forever. Nothing anymore for all of you. So listen, you that love truth, listen very carefully. Sing, O Balin, you who have not born, break forth into singing and cry aloud. I'm reading Isaiah chapter 50, Isaiah chapter 54 from us one. Break forth into singing and cry aloud, you who have not labor with child. For more are the desol- for more are the children of the desolate than the, the children of the married woman, says the Lord. Enlarge the place of your tent, enlargement, enlarge. Enlarge the place of your tent, and let them stretch out the curtains of your dwellings. Do not spare, lengthen your cords and, and strengthen your stakes, for you shall expand to the right and to the left, and your descendants shall help, and your descendants will inherit the nations, and make the desolate cities inhabited. Do not fear, don't fear anything anymore. Do not fear, for you will not be ashamed, neither be, dis- neither be disgraced, for you will not be put to shame. For you will forget the shame of your youth, and will not remember the reproach of your widowhood anymore. For your maker is your husband. Do you know that God is your husband, the husband of his body, the husband of the church. Jesus, the righteous, is your husband. So if your husband is doing of heaven and earth, get ready. Get ready to possess, to possess what God has given to you that the enemy have been messing up, have been have been monitoring you, have been have been, have been, have been stopping you from, from entering into. Remember, when the, the, the evil one captured the Garden of Eden, he 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 he, he drove out the the, 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 other, the the Adam and Eve that the owner, the rightful owner out of it but now. Or the evil that that they occupy, occupy your land, occupy your territory, occupy your silver, your gold, your diamonds, everything that belongs to you. All of them, the, 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 the Chief George, Jesus, the righteous, is driving all or arresting all of them, all the fake pastors that that that, that, that stole your money, that, that they came to you to and lie and took everything from you and sit on your wealth. God, in his infinite mercy this year, is judging them. And send them out of your inheritance, out of out of this world, washing them down to the feet of hell, and giving you back what belongs to you. Hallelujah. Okay, I continue. For your Maker is your husband, the Lord of hosts is his name, and your Redeemer is the Holy One of Israel. He is called the God of the whole earth. Your, our God is the, is the God, the owner of the whole universe, whole earth. Say for the Lord has for the Lord has called you like a woman forsaken and grieved in spirit, like a youthful wife when you were refused, says your God. For a mere moment I have forsaken you, but with great mercies I will gather you. Glory to God. With a little rod I hid my face from you for a moment, but with everlasting kindness, but with everlasting kindness I will have mercy on you, says the Lord your Redeemer. For this is like the waters of Noah to me, for as I have sworn that the waters of Noah would no longer cover the earth, so have I sworn that I would not be angry with you, nor rebuke, nor rebuke you. For the mountains shall depart, and the hills be removed, but, the kindness, but my kindness shall not depart from you, nor shall my covenant of peace, prosperity, be removed, says the Lord, who has mercy on you, God have already have mercy on you and me, his beloved and loved children. O toast one, o to o you toast ones, toast, o say, oh you afflicted ones, toast with tempest and not comforted. Behold, I will lay your stones, I will lay your stones with colorful gems, and lay your foundations with sapphires. I will make your pinnacles of rubies, your gates of of, of crystal, crystal. Uh, and all your walls of precious stones, all your children shall be taught by the Lord, and great shall be the peace of your children. Hallelujah. Glory to God. In righteousness you shall be established. You that love righteousness, God is establishing you now in righteousness. 
Hallelujah. In righteousness, you shall be established. You shall be far, you, you shall be far from oppressions, for you shall not fear. Hallelujah. And from terror, for it shall not come near you. Indeed, indeed, they shall surely assemble, but not because of me. Whoever assembles assembles against you shall fall for your sake. The fake pastor, the all the evil, evil offsprings, the Illuminatis. The, 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 the occultic men and women, the occultic powers that they have been using against you, it won't work anymore. God said that they may gather, but not for you. They are gathering for themselves. They will eat themselves up this year. They are already eating themselves up already. Their evil is overflowing in their life, in their family, in everything that concerns them. So it's not, it's no more for you, it's for the wicked. Whoever assembles against you shall fall for your sake. Behold, I have created the blacksmith who blows the coals in the fire, who brings forth an, an instrument for his work, and I have created the spoiler, spoiler to, to destroy. No weapon formed against you shall prosper, and every tongue which, which rises against you in judgment you shall condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and their righteousness is from me, says the Lord. No weapon, no weapon formed against you child of God, the lover of truth and righteousness. No weapon, it will no more, no, no longer, but it will never again. I decree, I decree by the power and the authority based upon my life. I say no weapon, no weapon fashioned against you, your family, your business, anything that concerns social prosper. If they plan as they are planning and are trying to devise it, it will land on their on, on their crown. It will land on their head. No weapon. I said no. It, I, I don't want to know how it was fashioned. But no weapon formed against you shall prosper. Never again. Every tongue that wants to rise to talk about you, to, to talk about in judgment, God, the chief judge, your 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 husband, your God. The, 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 the great, the great George, the greatest George, the chief George, the, 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 the George himself, is seated on the throne. So no every tongue that opened against you in judgment is already condemned as a child of God. This is all I want to tell you this year. Go ahead, be strong, work strong this year, achieve your goal. No evil. Evil we we overflow in the life of evil doers. Evil we overflow in the life of fake pastors. Evil we overflow in the life of those that love evil. Evil will, is overflowing. Is overflowing. Is overflowing like a mighty ocean in the tent of the wicked. In the tent of the evil ones. Evil is overflowing. Swallowed all of them. Swallowed up. Remember, like in the days of old, the children of Israel passed on, on, on across the, the, the Red Sea on a dry land. And the enemy rushed in. The, 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 the rest of you were full, were full in their life. This is how it did this year. You will pass through every impossibility and step into your inheritance. And the enemy will, will come after you. And the evil in them will overflow. We eat them up while you will stand and praise God for what He has done for you, for me, for all His beloved children all over the world. So this is what I want to tell you. No weapon. No weapon formed against you. This is the, the, the word for the year. No weapon formed against you, a true child of God, shall prosper. Every evil tongue, every evil, evil mouth, every wicked mouth, every lying tongue, every evil aquatic tongue that will try to open against you in judgment, condemned. I condemn them. In the north, in the east, in the west, in the south, I said I condemn them. They are lying tongue pastors. I condemn their tongue. Cut off. I condemn it. By the pardon to me. I condemn every mouth open against every tongue. I said that tongue is going to silence. It's cut off forever and ever. Go and prosper. Go and take your inheritance. Go and, and plunder your enemy. Move. Be strong. My word I'm injecting you is be strong. Don't let anything that anything that looks like fear disappear out of your life. Get out of your life. Go and take what the enemy has taken from you. 
go and drive them out of your, your land, out of your inheritance, out of your business, out of your ministry, out of your everything, out of your property. Drive them away. The Lord has empowered you. He has given you his, his authority. You're the chief judge, your 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 father, your God, your maker is the is the owner of heaven and earth. He's the chief judge. So be strong. Be strong and let's do it. I'm, I'm taking my territory already. I'm doing it already. So you must attack the enemy. God has given you victory. God has given you what belongs to you. All right. So for now, I want to say God bless you. God bless you. Bless you. We will bless your family. Let the whole brethren, let every, every child of God hear this. It will inject strength. It will inject, it will inject boldness. It will inject power. It will release a mountain for them to go and prosper, for them to go and take their territory, take what belongs to them. Enough of all these lying tongues, taking everything, taking the silver, the gold that belongs to you, all the things that God has given to me and you. Enough. Enough of all these thieves. The Bible said the thief commit in, in order to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But I have called that they may have life. Who are they, me and you? That they may have life and have it more abundantly. I decree abundance in your life, in your family. No weapon, no weapon. I say again, no, no weapon fashion against you shall prosper. And I will not forget to tell you this. There will be a lot of plane crash this year. It, it will not come near you. There will be a lot of deadly, sickness, deadly sicknesses for those that hate God. A lot of deadly sicknesses, a lot of, a lot of uh, plane crashes as God has given to you. God said there will be a lot of calamity happening on, on the face of the earth, but it will not come near you. It will only overflow in the life of the evil doers, in the life of those that refuse to obey the word of God. That's against the word of God. That's against Jesus. All this evil and calamity is, is, is only meant for them, not for you. So, remain blessed and I pray the peace of God be upon you and your family and everything that concerns you. Remain blessed forever and see you. The next video I may talk about how you talk about Nigeria. What I, I have seen in Nigeria, my, what I, I will, anyway, we will talk about it later. Okay, God bless you. Very good.